welcome back to Less of Life. I'm Mandy. And I'm Eric. And as you can hear behind us, we're currently having our concrete pad uh, in our house start to get prep work done. Um, and also we are working on getting the plumbing done, which is exciting news. But for now, what would you like to share to our viewers? So we've gotten a lot of questions on what the inside of our house is going to look like when it's all finished. So we put together a 3D walkthrough for you. Enjoy! Okay guys, so if you're a visual type person like myself, like my husband, it's much easier to see what the vision is for our barn dominium when you can actually have a walkthrough and something that is 3D. So when you walk in, you're in the living room seating area and we're going to have this small little bump out wall to put the television and basically be our entertainment center there. And then as you walk through, you come to the middle section here, which is our little, we're gonna have a very small farmhouse style table. And we'll have this bump out wall right here in front of us with our wood burning stove in front of it. Um, so that's the dining area. And then past that, you'll go into the kitchen area. So again, these really big tall walls back here with those big windows and wraparound kitchen. We have an island here in the center which should easily sit three people. So this here is gonna be our coffee bar area, but it also will serve for extra pantry storage. And we were going to originally close this off with a barn style sliding door. Um, but then when we added this bump out and decided to put the wood burning stove there, it made it difficult to figure out how to put a sliding door there or any other type of door that made sense. So instead we decided to make it a little alcove and make it our coffee bar area, which is an extension off of the kitchen. So the hallway area just leads to the back door and it's got the utility room, the closet, and on the other side would be the laundry room. Pretty simple. We're going to go with basic economy style finishes in a lot of cases, um, but to fit our style. We also have three ceiling fans that will all have lighting in them as well in the ceilings. So then going back through which door leads to everything. So going this way first, this door is going to lead to the guest room slash office. In this model, I didn't add any of the furniture in, but it's got one basic window there in the middle and simple, simple room. Then coming back out here, this door is one of two doors that will lead to our daughter's bathroom. So you go in this way, again, basic bathroom, basic finishes, and then a Jack and Jill style, you can go into her room this way. This is just a basic idea of how we want her room to be. But we haven't worked out all of the kinks there yet either. A lot of that will come as we see the finished product and put the furniture in it. Um, and then her closet is right there to the right of her door to her bathroom. And then this is her door that leads out to the main room again. And then going across, we'll go into our bedroom. So I didn't point this out in Hannah's room, but we do have lots of windows letting in lots of light into our bedrooms and facing different directions to capture some of the really nice views. Um, these bedrooms are not huge. We didn't want big bedrooms for a reason. We feel that the best use of space is to eliminate as many hallways as you can, which you'll see in our design, all of the doors lead directly out to the main area and eliminated the hallway ideas. And then also just having small bedrooms because in our opinion, a bedroom should be somewhere that you sleep, you get changed, maybe watch a little TV before bed, but we as a family would like to spend most of our time in the middle, in the together. So there are nine and a half by 13 and a half bedroom sizes. So that would be our bedroom our closet and then coming over here to go through into our bathroom but again simple basic bathroom so 
so that's about it guys we just wanted to make sure that we could show you the concept now that you've seen the outside and got an idea of what that looks like I'm sure the next question is always what is your plan for the inside and what's that gonna look like so while I've shared with you the plan video where I've gone over our actual floor plans before this is the concept 3d idea and guys feel free to leave a comment down below and let us know any of the questions that you have with regards to our design and why maybe we chose something. But again, it's a lot of it is very personal choices and why you decide to do things based around your own personal lifestyle, your family size, and lots of other factors that are important to you. So, but we'd be happy to answer any of your questions that you may have, just leave them below in the comments. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We really appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can continue to watch us build our dream home.